This episode is sponsored by LastPass. Whether it's losing your keys or trying to cram information into your head for an exam, sometimes we just need our brain to be less forgetful. So using science, how can you improve your memory right now? First things first, you should hit the gym. But sorry, meatheads, you can't skip cardio. MRI studies show that regular aerobic exercise, like running, improves performance on memory tasks by increasing the blood flow and volume in parts of the hippocampus. This is important as the hippocampus is a part of the brain that is critical for learning and memory, but it shrinks by 1-2% to per year in late adulthood. So aerobic exercise can be a great way to fight age-related declines of our memory. After the gym and pre-studying, grab a good snack. After a meal, the increased glucose and insulin has shown to promote the learning of new information. Glucose and insulin are also key to consolidation, the conversion of short-term to long-term memories, probably because the hippocampus we talked about earlier is enriched with insulin receptors. We said a good snack, but maybe try blueberries. As studies show, participants given a blueberry supplement had a better ability to recall past events. Blueberries contain flavonoids that have been shown to protect neurons, enhance their function, and stimulate their regeneration. Make sure that you're keeping up with the group chat. Scientists link high-quality personal relationships to better memory. A 2017 study found that adults aged 80 and up who reported more satisfying relationships in their old age had similar cognitive abilities to people in their 50s and 60s. Other research shows hanging out with people can protect against memory declines common in dementia. Scientists think that our friends create social pressure that makes us take care of ourselves, and they even do things as simple as tell you directly or indirectly to go visit a doctor. Social interactions also present complex cognitive memory challenges that can stimulate your brain. Thank you, friends. Hug your friends today because they're increasing your memory. If you really want to be super extra about all of this, you could also try to become a memory champion. These are people who can, for example, memorize the order of a deck of cards in 30 seconds. Superior memory skills aren't because of anatomical differences, which means you could accomplish some of these same memory feats with intense practice. One study found that after six weeks of daily 30-minute training, normal people exhibited similar levels of neural connectivity as these memory athletes. When given a list of 72 words, they went from being able to recall 26 to 30 to remembering over 60 words. A little stressed about memorizing a presentation for tomorrow? Not to worry, as research suggests an optimal level of anxiety can help us remember details. During stressful events, hormones like cortisol act on the brain to promote the formation of long-term memories, probably so that we can better process stressful situations and change our behaviors accordingly. But it doesn't mean that in these stressful times we are going to become way better at memorizing things, as too much stress has been shown to impair memory. So it is about finding the right balance between not panicking and panicking just enough to sharpen your mind. For the most part, we are overly stressed, which leads to us forgetting our passwords. Thankfully, there is LastPass. LastPass also helps relieve the anxiety and stress of remembering all of your different passwords for all the different platforms by storing them all in one safe place. You can store an unlimited amount of passwords. It even helps you to generate stronger passwords and most importantly, update your passwords, which is something that we should all be doing. You can use it on many devices like your laptop or even on your fancy phone using an app. It even has a password password breach alert to help keep you safe. Essentially, with LastPass, you never have to write, remember, or reset your passwords. Thanks again to LastPass, and we will see you all next week for another science video. See you later.